It was a trial watched around the world with an unprecedented level of security in the heart of downtown Minneapolis. Today, Derek Chauvin's legal team arguing the circumstances surrounding Chauvin's murder trial for killing George Floyd made it impossible to get a fair trial. They're asking the Minnesota Court of Appeals to throw out Chauvin's guilty verdicts. Our Paul Bloom in St. Paul today for those legal arguments. So, Paul, Chauvin's legal team actually wants a new trial. Amy and Kelsey, really two main themes emerged from today's hearing. One, the change of venue. Chauvin's legal team adamant that there was no way for their client to get a fair trial in the city that burned after Floyd was killed. And two, they had some serious concerns about the honesty of one of the jurors who served. They have been told not to watch the news. I trust they are following those instructions and that there is not in any way uh, a prejudice to the defendant. Derek Chauvin's legal team questioned several rulings of Judge Peter Cahill during Chauvin's state trial for George Floyd's murder nearly two years ago. Now, first and foremost, Cahill's decision to hold the trial in Minneapolis, the scene of destructive unrest following Floyd's death. Their question, how could Chauvin receive a fair trial with the rioting and looting inevitably on the minds of jurors amid an unprecedented level of courthouse security. The difference here is the jurors that sat on this jury had a stake in the outcome of the case because they lived here where the riots occurred. Chauvin's attorney, William Moorman, exchanged oral arguments with Minnesota Special Assistant Attorney General Neil Katyal in front of a three-judge appeals court panel in St. Paul Wednesday. Judge Cahill managed this trial with enormous care, and even if Chauvin could identify some minor fault, any error is harmless. The evidence of Chauvin's guilt was captured on video Video for the world to see. While the state's position is the verdict was fair and just, Chauvin's counsel demanding a new trial. In addition to the issue of venue, Mormon also believes juror Brandon Mitchell lied during jury selection. This conviction, um, like I said, hopefully just sparks some type of change. Mitchell, who sat for a Fox 9 interview, never disclosed that he had attended an MLK anniversary march in Washington, D.C., wearing a, quote, get your knee off our necks, Black Lives Matter t-shirt, Presiding Judge Peter Reyes Jr., skeptical. So why, I, I, I'm having a hard time understanding how he was not forthright at all in terms of answering any of the questions. Now, Chauvin is in a federal prison out in Tucson, Arizona. He did not attend today's arguments. The Court of Appeals now has 90 days to issue its ruling, Kelsey. All right, now, no matter what happens, Chauvin is serving 20 years on federal charges, so why appeal? Well, it's a great question. Uh, that, that federal sentence is locked in 20-plus years. Uh, his release date, uh, 2038 at this point. And he's given up his appeals right on the federal side. So why the state court uh, appeal? Uh, his attorney uh, represents uh, conservative issues. And, and feels what he's doing is just right and just. And then another thing to think about, this case really is unprecedented. Mm -hmm. and, and, and some people see a path maybe all the way up to the U.S. Supreme Court in a case that could define where you put trials in, in high visibility cases, a, a city that burned, the city that had riots. Can you have a fair trial in that backyard? That's a question yeah. that maybe uh, uh, Team Chauvin wants to take all the way to the top. A bigger look at change of venue issues. Correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah it really could make a big difference along those lines. Thank you, Paul. You bet.